It cannot go beyond two meters by itself. So who is spreading it? People are dying. We are burying. You are, I'm getting phones. What? Eh? We are just killing ourselves. Don't I choose the virus? No, please. The virus can can defend itself in the court and say, "Look, I'm not the one." Mm -mm. The Mumbai is that. Me, I just go two meters. How can I? The virus can defend itself. Hmm? The virus goes only two meters. So who's taking the virus all over the whole country? People are dying. We are burying. We are burying. Uh, no, 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 please. Uh, it is being taken by us. We are the ones taking it. The Right Honourable Prime Minister and the Minister of Gender and Social Welfare are hereby directed to ensure that the vulnerable population's needs are adequately assessed and taken care of to avert an unintended suffering in, in this period. These are the groups who depend on, on daily, daily earning, especially in the towns, especially in the Kampala area. The new Prime Minister and her group and are directed to quickly assess what these people need so that we may give them support for this limited period of 42 days. Further, the Minister of Health and the Kampala City Council Authority are hereby directed to make all the necessary arrangements to ensure all individuals that require medical care and medical evacuation in Kampala Wakiso are taken care of. Across the country, the resident district commissioners working with the chief administrative officers and their district health officers are directed to make all the necessary arrangements to ensure all individuals that require medical care and medical evacuation in their respective districts, COVID-19 or otherwise, are taken care of. And that's why we say vehicles can be used for patient evacuation. So that should not be a problem. But at their own, men at their own cost, not necessarily the cost of the government. Because that also will, will delay us if we go to, to government money. The patients will pay and the vehicles will move them. We want the tourists to keep coming. The tourists who are coming from countries where they have already been fully vaccinated can continue coming. And they can move. But they will only be moved by registered tourist vehicles, which will be the ones allowed to move. These should move directly to their destination and designated places. Emergency vehicles, police and army vehicles, and essential workers' vehicles will be allowed to move. I have defined the essential sectors and where there is need for additional clarity, the right of the Prime Minister will study, uh, study such and communicate. Among the essential health workers include doctors, nurses, pharmacists, veterinary doctors, and other essential health staff. Uh, details of other essential sectors will be worked out by the right honorable prime minister and her team, like the utilities, electricity, uh, 
definitely those ones. Uh, uh, the essential workers would be given specific identifications. Curfew, it is observed that some sections of the, of the public are not adhering to the curfew hours. 21, 9 o'clock to, uh, to 5.30 in the morning, what they call morning, the, Euro, the Europeans. But in our language, we say, Shai Shatu Zichiro, Okuse Shai Kumine Umanikshu Ekeza Kasheshi. Saa tatu za usiku, mpaka saa kumina moja na nusu za, za usiku. We don't, call, we don't call night morning like the Europeans. You know, Europeans are wonderful people. They say night, they call it <laughs> and, and we And we follow. Even me, I'm saying... 5.30 in the morning, it is as if, I, I feel as if I am in Utavika. As if I am a mad person. How can I call night, morning? Because in, in Europe they have a different system, so we just follow blindly. So please, curfew has been from the third hour of the night Satatu za usiku to the 11th hour and a half of the night. Sakumi na moja na unusu za usiku. But because of the, of the anglicization, we now, I said at 5.30 in the morning. Can you imagine? Remember, remember the Wasita Kalani saying that Shai Kumine is is morning. No, no, no. It's morning. Morning is seven o'clock. What they call seven o'clock? Shai Maya Kashesh. As such, the curfew time throughout the co the country because people are not serious. When I see these people who have died, you hear people who have died. Tumboine Manzi, our chairman in Kavari. Uh, the, our permanent secretary, Kagorichi Vumbi, Kajabo Karsoke. I'm getting you all over from all over the place. Telephones, telephones. So and so has died. So and so has died. Imagine. And 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 yet we told you, we told you from nine, uh, March last year. I said you people. And when you people listened, we we, we controlled the disease. That's why that's why up today we are talking over. Only 400 people. In the US, they lost 600,000 people dead. So, the Lazima Ikome. As such, the coffee time throughout the country is pulled back to 1900 hours from, from uh, Samoja, Yawusiku. Mpaka saa kumina moja na nusu ya usiku. But if you want to use the English way, 1900 hours, that, that, that is the military way, 1900 hours. But the military also has got uh, uzungu zungu ndani yake. Uh, because they say 1900 hours, because they start ta ta counting hours at midnight. Can you imagine? <laughs> uh, Africa were nine. Hmm? So anyway, Samoja Usiku Mpaka Sakumina Moja Nanusu Usiku. But in the English way, 1900 hours up to five, zero, five thirty hours. Uh, or from 7 o'clock p.m. to 5.30 a.m. in the morning, according to the English way. Border borders will only be allowed to move only up to 1,700 hours, which is, five, which is uh, Sakumina Moja, 
ya jioni saa kumi na moja ya jioni education institutions testimonies from credible sources indicate that schools had been deliberately silent about infections among the students due to fear of closure the, the schools were hiding were hiding sicknesses all schools and institutions of learning remain closed for 42 days. The Minister of Health to reactivate village health teams under the community engagement strategy to strengthen the sensation of the communities. In the villages, please watch out, because you know one another. In the villages, these villages have like 200 homes. Everybody, you know everybody. If you get somebody sick with, with the flu-like uh, symptoms, inform the health center three. Uh, and the Minister of Health here will, will, give, will give guidelines of how they should react. They should work out a plan how people should go from... In the meeting yesterday, they were talking of health center four. I said, that's too far. I want the whole contact to be between Health Center 3 and the village. The village should report the Health Center 3. And then the Health Center 3, these people work out a, a plan. How will they, can, can they all have picky pickies and come and take sample and uh, send it to where? Uh -huh. Because if somebody is sick, I think it is not necessary to go, they, they will work it out, but for me I don't think it is good for the, the patient to go to the health center, because when he goes, in the process he's, inf he's infecting the other people. It may be better to stay. It's a bit, uh, it needs a little bit of organization, but it may be better to stay at home and, and the, somebody from health center three and find you there. You, you go and see, look at that. These health center cities are not too many. They are like 2,000 in the whole country. So we can mobilize 2,000 uh, motorcycles and, 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 and they, they start doing uh, uh, 